Hey yo everybody, welcome back on MDG Media. This is the second day at the 2024 Hainola Open. Some MPO action front nine on this video. That's gonna be awesome man, amazing players. We'll have Jakub and also Temu Tarikainen that we had yesterday on the feature card. Super happy to be back, super happy to comment on the video with you Andrew. Let's go. Yeah, moving day from Keepies. It's gonna be fantastic action. Super stack lead card. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's exciting, man. Uh, there is a really, really good MPO field, a lot of good players. We have Jakub and Dennis in the middle of a lot of fins. So, yeah, let's go. First on the tee, we'll have, as mentioned, Jakub Semenat from Z Republic, representing Latitude 64. Super used to have him on lead cards this season. Too good. Yeah, we have uh, youngster Ani Arminen, 1018 rated. Sponsored by Prodigy Disc, popped off at the European Open last year from Tampere, right around that area. Yeah, first time for me to comment on, on him. Very excited about that. Timu Talikainen, third on the card, representing Prodigy, coming from Helsinki. Uh, first time for him on the lead card this season, uh, without mentioning the feature. He was super excited about all this, so uh, let's go, man. That's great. We got the European champion, Dennis Augustin. Uh, sponsored by Innova from Sweden, incredibly talented lefty. It's going to be really awesome to watch him on and this epic course here. Yeah, and an amazing human being also. Very exciting to have him there. Let's go, man. Let's roll. Hole one. Yeah, we get it started off here on hole one. It's a way uphill uh, par, th par four. Uh, very demanding start to your round. You know, you've got the, the whole incredible complex of keepies around you. And then you got this, you know, tunnel shot to hit uphill. Uh, yeah, man, entering the woods, you're starting out of it and then instantly uh, dive in. As you can see, pretty tight. Yeah, this is super fun place and uh, every hole is fantastic. Here we go. Let's get into it. This is going to be a fun, fun round. Jakub trying to flex one way up there, hits the tree, one of the trees that defines the fairway but it stays put right there in the middle, so... Yeah, it's still some distance. Yeah, no I mean, he, he's got the power to try to attack it still for the birdie, but it's, it's not really in prime position. You can see the flag's blowing a little bit. Some wind, a little bit cooler than yesterday. Ani kind of shanks that one left side. I think it ended up kicking left even further. There's no no OB on this one, but um, you do you do see some pretty wild kicks sometimes where you get pretty far out of position. Tamu just laces it right up the gut. Fantastic. That's a sweet spot. Very nice execution from Tamu. Dennis always calm, always in the moment, present, very polite, very kind person. He's looking for the flow all the time. That's what he's talking about. He knows that this golf is not just about practice and mechanics. You need to have your head ready. And he's exactly looking to do what he did during the European Championship. That was remarkable. Yeah. Being, that was a fantastic tee shot. Yeah, finding the zone, it's really yeah. the, the way to describe this. Exactly. And Money. not sure what happened. Looked like he slipped a little bit with his footing, trying to put a ton of power on it, and it looks like he kicked hard left, so he's in a little bit of trouble early now. Jakub attacking the green yeah, from that's way good back. Looking. He's going to have a putt from the circle's edge. Yeah. Really first, nice second shot, yeah. First C1 opportunity for Jakub, 8, 9 meters. Oh, man. He's in trouble. Left side. He's down there. Back to the fairway. Okay, fourth shot, fourth shot, excuse me, 30, 40 meters. Should, should be, be able fine. To, yeah, should be able to get that bogey, but not the start he was hoping for. Oh, yeah. Tamu comes in soft Touchy. to the green. Yeah, nicely done. Look how far up Dennis was. He just gets to do a little flick, try to throw it in for eagle. Or maybe just put it up there close with the yeah. basket. From where it looked like from down there, like it was... Easy you know. peasy bullseye hit to yeah. start off the round. Perfect for Dennis. Honey. Mm. Ooh, maybe some nerves here on lead card. 
Yeah. We haven't seen him on a ton do. of coverage. He's definitely struggling here. Uh, seemed like everything went really well for him yesterday. You know, able to shoot an eight down. Course record. And everybody's talking also about an amazing personality about him. I, I really don't know him. I was really happy to be able to interview him and to get to understand a bit more. Yeah, one of the is. one of the really talented young Finns and seems seems pretty chill. Yeah, that's one of the main rising stars in Finland to me. Always on top. He just won PDPT. Yeah, second stop in Odu, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Took down local Christian Kwoksa. Yeah, he was mentioning it during the interview. He it's helping, you know, and Clay one was mentioning also during the the podcast. When you win the tournament, you enter a flow. You have something that helps you understand how to win a tournament, and that's exactly what's happening with Oni. Yeah, it gives you that experience and that self-belief you need to kind of like be able to execute in the moment when the pressure comes. Exactly. And uh, yeah, it's great that he's getting that experience at such a young age. Hole two, beautiful downhill, par three. Uh, look at this green, so nicely constructed. You got the rocks defining the fairway and the astroturf. Straight shot, right, right down the pipe. You know, classic little uh, exciting putter, putter drop shot. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You can go stand still if you're more comfortable. You take your your run up. Table plays it forehand with a, a distortion, I believe. Kind of cool. Different line. You'd, oh yeah. He's gonna get it to work really well right now. I can see now why he does that. Parks it. First round he struggled a little bit, didn't really get the angle right. Hot start, just took an easy bird on hole one, parking hole two, exactly what you're looking for. Denny's right down the pipe, perfect, just outside the bullseye ring. Four meters left for his birdie. Looking to go two for two start as well. Jakub after the par, Ooh. too high, too high on this one, gets chopped down, he's going to have to probably pitch up for par from there. Yeah, nothing too major, uh, just lay up for the par. Ani with a smooth flick as well, slightly overturned, clips a tree, but slides him up into circle two. So yeah, gentle kick, yeah, gentle kick on the, the tree left side, he's going to have the opportunity to take one, one stroke back. From the previous hole, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Dennis showing the chilling. Always in a good mood every time I've yeah. seen him. What a, what a cool dude. Yeah, as Blad and some players, it's really hard to see them angry or anything. And a good bird from Oni. Good for the confidence after the double boogie. Yeah, he's a great putter, that's for sure. Oh, and for a slow mo. Get a nice. Reverse angle, slow mo. Okay. Boom, right in the heart, C2. Dead center. Good one to bounce back. Jakub for the par. And a good clean up. Four or five meters. Can He's so fast, you know. Yeah, and not he can... too much focus or anything. His putt's quite low too, isn't he? He kind of like doesn't really extend the arm too much. He just kind of like, it's, it's like right in line power from the, the hips, sort of like the center of gravity. It's, it's a nice, really unique kind of putt he's got. Very effective. You're right. Lovely. Yeah. Onto hole three. Hole three, back up the hill after coming down. A lot of elevation on this course, you'll see. Part three, 106 meters. Right, uh, I guess you want to like, turn it a little bit left to right and kind of crash it into that hill. You don't want to overshoot it because it drops off behind the ridge. But, uh, yeah, the, flex, the flex shot line is pretty much the the option. Overstable disc. Exactly as Timu, but early release. Ooh. Some flip-flop here. Dennis now. Where is it going? Another tree kick here. Not able to see what's happening from the catch cam angle. It's 
It's actually like 90 something meters. Sorry, I, I said 106, but plays like plays about like that. Like yeah, exactly. Like about 110 up the Slightly hill. Slightly uphill. Yeah. Oh yeah. The only thing I would say for Yere is maybe something to help the camera ops to have some spots to film. Maybe it's pretty some. tight behind the players and on the T pads. Amazing structures, but maybe a bit more space would be would be what we need to have like the perfect filming. Yeah, they got plenty of wood. Maybe they'll build some platforms for next time. We yep. can talk about the oh, wow. what a line for Mooney deserved so much better. He was so far out of position. I've never even seen anybody up here on the road like that, but he somehow found it found a chance to get that almost in the basket. Yeah, man, and his a range first is crazy. Yeah, birdie for Jakob at the same time. One down, nine down overall. Joining Temu in the lead. Yeah, this one's the easiest hole on the course. Two point seven average, so. Definitely. Easiest for the MPO? Yeah. Wow. Kind of surprising, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I the, would not say that. This one and hole two are the two easiest. So you you, you want to score early here. You want to get these, yeah. like, at least two of the first three, if not all. You know, and Tamo and Dennis have done just that. They got the first two. There we see Silver Lot up at the top. No. Excuse me. <laughs> we are here. We are one. We will fight. We will fall. We will prevail. From the fjords of Norway to the shores of Spain. From the fire of Iceland to the hope of Ukraine. 30 countries, one voice. Go Europe. Back here on hole four. It's a really demanding par three. You gotta hit this tunnel shot and uh, move really heavy left to right, all the way down the hill. Crazy bonus birdie, super rough, rough on the right. I mean, one of the hardest par threes as far as like getting a birdie goes that you'll ever see. There were three birdies yesterday. Um, yeah, we have we had some amazing highlights yesterday from Jakub. Yeah, yeah, he had about a 30 meter putt for par. So far, just one birdie today. Let's see if these guys can join that exclusive birdie club on this one. And this hole, you gotta shout out the birdies. Juho Pulkanen. Oh, and that's a good shot. Young Finn, really just talented up. player as well. Good ball away. Okay, perfect, man. He's dead center of the fairway. He will have a long putt. If he wants to get aggressive also, that's a choice he needs to make. And we were not able to see what's happening for Dennis. Yeah, he, he uh, kicked to the left. So th that's the kick you want. If you are going to kick, if you kick right, you're in big trouble. He kicked left, and here we see him. Yeah, he's going to have to scramble, try to get this forehand turnover down there yeah a bit of groundwork but that's gonna be a long look to save the par it's as we were saying for the FPO that par 4 is so fair you can go, go straight two straight shots here for the MPO you cannot miss your line or it's instantly a bogey yeah or a crazy scramble and that's an amazing one Really good scramble there. Wow, he will have a chance to save the par from there. Yeah, that was good work there. Just a tiny window, able to get it out. Super, yeah, exactly. super thick in there. Long, kind of lunging jump putt. Yeah, or very just smart. Lunge, lunge putt, I guess. Yeah, it gets, it gets it nicely up there. Oh, and that's definitely not the best up. But it's okay, four or five meters. Checked up nicely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fading really early. I wonder which disc it is. Dennis hit this basically same putt yesterday for birdie. He was one of the only three birdies yesterday from that range. It was like almost 30 meters. Jakub from deep the bar. Ooh, bang. Boom. What a highlight. Oh, wow. Outside C2 way. from the woods. On an amazing angle for the slow mo. Check it wow. out, folks. One of the best putters you'll ever see. World champ. A couple S years back, big smile. 
Speed He's loving it. This. Yeah, pretty happy. I can understand saving a part like this is always feeling amazingly good. Did from a similar distance yesterday, different position, but definitely difference. You know, two amazing, yeah, amazing level. highlight parts there. Yesterday was a crazy downhill putt. If you want to check out on the first round, couple. Yeah, a couple yeah. boogies, but I, I mean, you can't get really mad about that. No, it's it's a, it's a tough one. Yeah, Most yeah. difficult on the course at 3.69. You need to accept to lose some strokes on this course. Yeah. It's what we were talking about with Villa during the practice round. You cannot really avoid everything. A bogey-free round on this on this course is totally. really demanding. Yeah, that's exceptional. I mean, you have to do incredible work and keep it so clean. I mean, yeah, hole five, part three, really nice line here. You got to. Uh, try to flex, flex out, I'd yeah, say, but there, there is the a right straight side. line. There yeah. is a straight line, yeah. so that's a choice you make here. Jakob is with a flat a, release. Yeah, overstable mid range. This is a good play. Hmm. Doesn't yeah, catching some tree in the table to see exactly what happened. Yeah, there's quite a few. It's, it's a tight line here. You got to get it just right. And Tim with the flex shot. Hmm. High line. A little bit too inside though, and kicks hard right. Yeah, he thought he would go for a more versatile disc. He's very comfortable with those Anheuser release over stable discs, flex shot lines. Yeah, this one's a little too inside as well, so lead yeah. card struggling on this one. Yeah, and as we were able to see yesterday, you can see a whole card parking this, this hole, and then you can see so much trouble. Surprisingly. But we have oh. our friend Dennis parking this amazing shot. Yeah, looking to bounce back from that bogey. Really, really thick line there with the forehand through the main part of the gap. Perfectly played. This one average and under par, pretty impressive. 2.95 average. Yeah, so below the par. And a good up from Temu to get an easy par. Looks like the same for Jakub. Nothing major happening, you know, just kicking some trees. Nothing else to do than approaching the basket and get the bar on hole five. Oni gets his par. So it's looking like a um, pars and a birdie for Dennis. Yeah, a stroke gained from Dennis on this hole. Amazing drive. Bullseye hit. Second of the round. Yeah, some cleanups. And our European champ waiting for everybody. <laughs> yeah, last one with the birdie tap in. That's always a great feeling, I guess. Strokes on the card. And here we go up to the tee pad of hole six. Yeah, a little hike up the hill. Absolutely beautiful view once you get up there. Yeah, scary view when you arrive on the tee pad. The next one is pretty hard. Yeah, it's it's a daunting fairway. Really, really lovely line through the woods. A lot of uh, gallery following. Starting to swell up. It's good if you're able to come check it out, check look at this hole. It's just beautiful par five. Tons of pine trees really do kind of define the fairway. Lots of other species uh, sorted throughout. It moves a little bit right to left. This is a really steep sloping hillside left to right, so you have to always be aware of that. You don't want to kick down right or you get way out of position. Rollaways are possible. Green tucked back behind this nice uh, fence structure. And yeah, I mean... Careful not to kick those trees. You can roll away so easily on this green. Pretty legendary par five. Yeah, that first shot is so hard. You keep your line flat, fade as fast as possible once you have the turn. Look at this. That's a good shot. Massive. Yeah, sweet spot. You can go further, definitely, but that's well enough. And it just stuck right where it landed there in the fairway. That's what you want here on this one. You don't want to see anything skip and roll, you know, you just... Oh, that's disastrous. Yeah, Ville was mentioning that right side, so hard to get out of this. 
That was a brutal kick. Oh, yeah, man. Not even sure what happened. It went way right. He's so far out of position. Parse would be fantastic from down there. It's going to take some serious work. Ani, a little bit inside. Get some pretty good distance, but slightly out of position anyway. Didn't hit it too clean there. Benji chumming it up with the cute couple there. Always a good mood, Dennis. And oh, here we see uh, Jakob has to just kind of like chuck it up to the fairway. This this shot really important to get back on track now. Okay, and yeah, he, he will well. be able to attack the pin from there. Still a long way to go. Yeah, if he can uh, get up and down from there, that's incredible. Like I said, Parse would be best case. And stand still. He's playing. Oh no, please. Oh, it looks so and good. As you can see, man, it's a perfect shot, but you're just punished for something that you don't deserve. Look at this. Not sure exactly where he landed here. I think he's just behind that fence. Like pretty far up there for. Pretty nice. In the end, it should be a manageable birdie if he's able to have some gaps. Oh, and isn't that, isn't that too high? Oh, wow. It's that, that tree by the structure, I believe. I can't, can't tell uh, which side it landed on, but... Jakub, clean approach. Check this out. Right to the bucket. Are you kidding me? Securing the par after being so far out of position. You knew what was going to happen. Huh? Wicked scramble there, man. What the heck? That was crazy. Super He's gonna impressive. save the par. Yeah. You were mentioning it, huh? You knew. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Don't lie to me. <laughs> Dennis has this for eagle. If he can somehow kind of try to get it in there. Oh wow! Yeah. Almost. Oh no! Please. Yeah, it gets a little bit squirrely at the end, but doesn't roll all the way down, luckily. Yeah, have a solid birdie look from there. <gasps> oh, yeah. I thought the line was pretty decent. And Temu for birdie? Do I miss so? And that's short, catching the cage. Need to push it a bit more. Oh, my. Uh, that's something you're not used to, to see from Dennis. He's so comfortable inside the circle. But that's the highlights on that hole. That par save from Jakub is major. That's the second one of the round. Hole four was an amazing putt to That's save it. That's true, man. And then He's second here, the yeah, yeah. That was incredible stuff. So good to go through that kind of uh, scrambles, being able to save those bars. Got to shout out the Eagles real quick from that last hole. That's really impressive. Sakuripi got it yesterday, today. Echo Kolhi and Jakub Knapp. Mmm, Knapp from Knapp Czech Republic. Yeah. Great, great Eagles there. Yeah, it's major. Really hard to get it. And uh, yeah, talk about hole seven here, man. Hole seven's a beauty. Pipe dream, really tight gap. Downhill a little bit. Uh, yeah, the, the widest part of the gap is a little bit on the, on the right side. Here we're gonna see Dennis go at it with that flex. Yeah, this is kind of the the most high percentage play. Of course, Silva sorry and aced it down the really tight center gap. Thank you, Dennis. Good answer after that miss on hole seven. And yeah, as you were mentioning, there is two gaps. The most used, I'd say, is the right side, like Jakub and Dennis just took. You can go straight, but it's so tight. I'm not even sure the players are aiming for this one. If you go through that left side, it's usually that you missed release or something. Yeah, and second day in a row this hole got aced. Oh yeah? Today by Julius Mulgaard. Okay, but that's crazy, man. That hole is so hard. Yeah. I took a triple bogey during practice round. Those guys are acing. That's crazy, man. Please. 
see you can so fast kick something on the on the wheel oh, that's an early release for any hmm not perfectly comfortable out of the the teapad since the start of the round just needs to find his comfort and he will have to work to save that bar see to look 20 meters or so let's see Mm -mm. Oh, the line was amazing. Just yeah. a bit too short, so another bogey. He's gonna lose the stroke. He took back on hole two. <sighs> yeah, that's a short miss for Temu. Not good for the head. He was on the par train for four holes. It was the moment. And high right. Heavy chains for Jakub's second birdie of the round. He must feel amazing. Really. Good yeah. birdie, second, after those crumbles. Dennis with a tap in. With yeah, he won't miss a second. Three down for the round. Pretty solid, with aggressive it. scorecards. It could have been, yeah, even better. Yeah. It's almost a turkey in the end. Yeah, I really should have got that birdie on the last one. Ended up uh, three putting, I guess, so after two really great shots. Easy. Yeah. Hole eight, man. That's amazing par four. Yeah, just splendid view down through this valley, uh, casual relief area where the where the yeah, pond, yeah. pond is. Try to, try to go over this. Yeah, try to land here. somewhere here, or if you get a little bit further, that's fantastic. And then the second shot is a classic too. You got to move left to right up to this tiny little uh, terraced green. I mean, it just it's beautiful. What to say, man? Like, if, if you're on, on that hill that you're seeing in the middle of the fairway, that's what you're aiming for. But some players, with the distance they have, are able to go over it and go so far down. Yeah. Jakub is definitely able to do it. It's a pretty wide gap, but Dennis hits an early tree. That's pretty rare. Kicks super hard right. Jakub, pretty good position there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the first time that we are able to see a disc arrive over that hill that's and what you see want. it from the, the catch cam angle. Yeah, that's where you want to be. Much easier said than done, but very rewarding feeling when you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Temu, he's looking to try to get up there too. Skips a little bit on the left side. Not too bad though. Yeah, there is. there are some gaps. Quite a few trees to work with, but yeah, opportunity still. You'd like to be in the center, but even that's no guarantee for the upshot to be clean. Yeah, a bit too much turn. Mm, yeah, Catch kicks right. Not able to see what's going on. Kicks right. Dennis' forehand ends up on the left side up there. Here he is, already throwing three. Not really in brilliant position. And kicks another tree hard left. Struggling here now. On the power forehand. Wow, what a shot there. That's Smashed gonna be smashed all the way up to the green. That should be a birdie for Oni. Good answer again after the mistake on the previous hole. And Dennis? Yeah, he's at risk of uh, taking a double already. Whoa. Yeah, he needs to create some magic not to take the double. Demo. Yeah, looking for the flex shot forehand. Not the best, fading too too late. Circle two uphill. Yeah. This pot's been looking real good. You can go aggressive thanks to the hill. You had a big highlight here on this one yesterday. From a similar distance, I believe. You're right. Oh, uh, come on. Yeah, good reaction. Inside the circle, seven, eight meters, uphill putt for Jakub, maybe for third birdie of the of, on the run. Oh, oh basket I'm hunting. Talk about magic, man. Hunting the chains, as you're mentioning, perfect, almost. So close. Tame underneath this mountain ash tree, bangs a sweet high Are you but... kidding me? Second time on this hole. Wow. What a putt, man. Yeah, after the short, the short miss on hole, on hole seven. Yeah, that's so far uphill. That's like a 25 meter putt. You need some serious power and spin. Look at this, full commitment. Jumping, spinning. 
banging it home. Dead Whoa, center, so man. Amazing. What a slow-mo. Great capture there from yeah. the camera crew. Beautifully done. Yeah, shoot out to Luca doing the cinematic cam on this one. And that's, yeah, that's a miss you don't want to see from Jakub. Yeah, he was in good position. Dennis with the comebacker after that really heroic effort to throw in, save the bogey. That's what I like from Dennis. You know, he's playing for double bogey and he's going for that long approach. Doesn't think about any comeback or anything. He will make it and he knows it. Yeah, no fear. Finished well, the hole, considering how, how many struggles he had to get up to the green. Yeah, a bit too much mistakes on Dennis' side. Yeah, that, that one. That double bogey and the uh, whole nine, man. Whole nine nice already, one. man. What a flow. This has been smooth. Yeah, it's fast. These guys are a quick, quick group and, uh, yeah, super skilled. But uh, here we are, finishing it off, front nine. It's uh, par three. You got to cross over a, a big OB area off the tee. If you, if you do go OB, there's an optional drop zone. It takes a lot of power. You, righty backhand hyzer, you really got to commit. You got to, you know, have... I don't know, but at least 120, 130 worth of, oh, yeah, yeah, worth, yeah. worth of speed and power to get all the way up to there. Oh, Same has got that all day. Park yeah. job. Sweet. Thank you. Good way to finish the front nine with the fourth birdie. Yeah, and bogey free. Yeah, very solid from Temu. Super hot start. And he missed some. You know, oh, yeah. we were mentioning, but yeah. hole seven was short. It yeah. could have been even better for Temu, and that's an amazing drive also yeah. from Oni. Couple C1 makes misses, I believe. Yeah, exactly. And pretty nice for, for Oni to finish that way. He will just get back all the strokes she, he lost. Incredible drive so holes. far. Let's see if Jakub can join the party up there. Birdie Fest 2024. Yes, Are sir. Are you okay? Look at that. <laughs> Three park jobs on this one? Come you on. Do man. not see that. Yeah. I have never seen that before. And everybody now thinks it's an easy hole. <laughs> and what to do when you're Dennis last on the tee box? You know, everybody made it. And it's pretty okay. It's great. Really He's decent up there drive. inside the circle. Or no, just, ah, just, just outside. outside. Yeah. Sorry, that was the ring. That was yeah, the, exact. the um, yeah, whiskers from the FPO. Oh, okay. Yeah. But uh, anyway, he's just outside the circle. If he can get this, that'd be almost a certain star frame. That would be That's, a crazy star frame on oh, this absolutely. one. Oh, absolutely. And look at it. Oh, no. No way, man. It looked in. Yeah. Kind of just got rejected by the nubs on the back side of the rim. Exactly. The, the disc kind of popped him off. Looked good, man. Squeaked it over. But unfortunately, not going to count this time. And three in a row. Bulls I hit on this hole. Crazy. Yep. What an awesome way to finish the front nine. That's how you know you were in the lead card. Yeah. And we're halfway through the MPO Hanel Open 2024 and incredibly exciting action. We got a real battle brewing. Look at these guys. Yeah, I like the flow. I like the energy in the group. Everybody's pretty focused. Yeah. Everybody's playing decent. Some mistakes here and there for Oni and Dennis, but Jakub and still Tame. solid. Clean sheet. Let yeah. it down. Fantastic. Showing the way, man. Yeah. Tie first. Let's go, man. A couple of hot shooters out there. Uh, trying to find yeah, trick moves. Exactly. You know, you need to keep the pace. Lenny Kempinen is uh, he's over there trying to chase everybody. Yeah. Lowry Lightning and Yosef Bari. Shooting some hot rounds. Trying to climb up that leaderboard. What a, what a fun... Uh, time that was man yeah man great course great players thank you guys for watching thank you for commenting with me man enjoying mm. it so much yeah make sure you yeah. come on back for the back nine you're gonna see some amazing action let's go